books, books turn to movies, turn to screenplays, turn to TV shows, even you know, even stage plays, and and all, um, and all of that. So it's the original content that makes that. So basically, I started writing my first book. It took like a year. <laughs> it was a real grueling experience because in prison, you know, you're already trying to adjust. You're already um, ducking blows and ducking bullets, mm -hmm. and um, and so I was able to, to, to pull that first book off. And so help me. I clicked my heels, man, when I finished that book. And I says, uh, I'm going to do it again. And I did it again. It took me three months. And I just, then it was like sports psychology suggests that you do something so much so it becomes, you know, net. Mm -hmm. Net. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. now it's net. Mm -hmm. Now it's net. I mean, right. um, you know, I'm claiming that. And, I hear you. Um, it's not necessarily just the quantity or even the quality of the work. It is the, the, the life force behind it. You understand? It's, it's, it's me uh, acknowledging my own greatness before everybody else and me understanding that and turning thoughts into things. Okay. We have some um, literature here, some newspaper articles. Well, you know, um, in life, you know, the tail of the tape you know, you're only as good as your last, uh, you know, um, project. And the tail of the tape just happens to be newspapers and magazines and TV shows. And, and uh, yeah, they, they, um, one, of the, one, one of the things I was really proud of was our local paper. Here was a local paper that they had me in the headline. You know, and this, lo you know, Westchester, huge. They have everybody from, you know, the Clintons. Here, excuse me, the Clintons here to, uh, I remember back in the day um, hearing uh, stories about um, uh, um, Dick Clark and, I mean, right, this, is a, right. this is a vintage co county, very you know, so. people, yeah. it, it happens to be 30 minutes away from the city. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, depending on where you live, <laughs> it could be inexpensive to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Woo! Another yeah. another show. Yeah, but um, and then you know, and then what they did was from from the masthead, they went and they did um, the full tarot. I mean, listen, this is this is I'm your son. I'm just mm. speaking to like all of the adults out there, all of the right. the, the the parties, the the people that are in government, the the you know the teachers, mm -hmm. the county the leaders. Lawyers, yeah. yeah, I'm your son, and. Um, and I'm proud to say I made it. You know, I don't know, I don't know any other way I could have made it unless I went through the things that I've gone through. You know what I mean? I had to find myself on purpose in life. And, and you know, knock on wood, um, I did that. And even the regional papers, like the Daily News, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, that's major. Page 10. No guns involved, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no assault, no, no arrest, uh -huh. page 10 of the Daily News, half page. You can't pay for that. Right. Editor, you can't. Um, Publishers Weekly has acknowledged my work, and that's the Bible of the book industry. Mm -hmm. I just heard my next review, because yeah, I'm so connected, you know, I heard my next review that comes out next week for a book that comes out in November called Lady First. And um, they gave me like a thumbs up. They, they, they really detailed the book and said it was, uh, you know, look, look, just look forward to getting that book. So I'm being acknowledged not just by my peers, but also, and not by the press, but also the readers, you know. Excellent. Readers that can see through the hole in the donut. You might have an error in a book here and there. You might, you know, but you, get, you pay me, give me the money that's necessary to put the proper people on these projects, then we won't have those errors. But in the meantime, I got to get money, and this is the way to do it. And so we grow. We evolve. I've evolved, and, and the press have done ABC World News and, and a lot of radio and NPR, and it's just been, it's just been, a, um, I'm, I'm real proud of myself. I'm very real proud, proud of too. Myself. I heard you, I heard you on yeah. Kiss uh, one time. You did? Yeah, yeah. Was it the Kiss first time or the second? Or the third? It was all three. All that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was all three. Mm -hmm. But look, before we go any further, let's um, give out your digits, and if you have a website, or any information people want to contact you about your book or, you know, want to have you come in and do some right. or anything like um, that? Well, you know, uh, most importantly, I do speaking engagements because I like to share my story with young people. If I saw a role model when I was younger and who came and explained to me that this was, um, this could be done 
if you could create that reference, I would, I would be able to acknowledge that and maybe grab onto it. So I speak in schools and, and community events, and you could always web surf for my name. If you can't get this, the, the website correct, which is RelentlessAaron.com, you could always search for Relentless Aaron in Google, and you're going to come up with something that leads you directly to me. Okay. Um, my email is right there on my website. Um, we spend a lot of money to maintain my website and to update it with all of the things going on. You know, they're turning my books into movies. I just signed a, um, a major, major deal. I, I really can't talk about that okay. yet, but um, I might have another deal with Bill Duke. I can talk about that. That's like a multi-picture deal that LL Cool J is going to be starring in. Actually, LL.